Today we are going to do steam distillation and extract eugenol from clove. We will start with about 6 grams of clove and crush it. Once crushed, go ahead and weigh the exact mass of the crushed clove. Add the crushed clove to the 500 ml round bottom flask. Add 2 or 3 boiling stones and 70 milliliters of DI water and let it soak while you set up the glassware. Set up the mantle, the water connections to the west condenser, turn on the water Attach a clamp to hold the 500 ml round bottom flask and in a second ring stand attach another clamp to hold the collection flask. Go ahead and clamp the 500 ml round bottom flask and lower the round bottom flask into the mantle. Attach the glazing head. Attach the separatory funnel and add 100 milliliters of DI water. Attach the three-way connector on top of the Claisen head and the thermometer adapter goes on top of the three-way connector. Add the West condenser with keg clamps and a vacuum adapter at the end of the West condenser and the collection flask at the end of the vacuum adapter. Go ahead and turn on the heat and wait for the distillation to start. Once the distillation starts, go ahead and turn on the separatory funnel and let the water drip into the round bottom flask. When the collection flask is halfway filled, it's a good time to turn off the heat and dismantle the setup. Make sure the separatory funnel is closed before you add the solution. Pour the collected solution into a separatory funnel and add 10 milliliters of dichloromethane or methylene chloride. Cap the separatory funnel and give it a good mix and vent. If you see an emulsion like here, both the layers are cloudy, go ahead and add about 5 to 10 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride solution. which helps break the emulsion. Uncap the separatory funnel and let the two layers separate.
Once the two layers separate, collect the bottom layer into a clean, dry, unmatte flask. Add 5 ml of dichloromethane or DCA, give it a good mix, vent, and let the two layers separate. And once separate, collect the bottom layer into the same Ornmat flask. Repeat it a third time with 5 ml of dichloromethane. And all the bottom layers are collected in the Ornmat flask. Add 2 to 3 scoops of drying agent that is sodium sulfate and let it stand for 3 to 4 minutes. Go ahead and weigh a clean dry 50 ml beaker. And set up a hot plate at about 75 degrees Celsius. Use a glass pipette to transfer the liquid into the 50 ml beaker carefully. Do not transfer any solid into the beaker. Connect the Tigon tubing to the air connector, which is the orange one. Make sure the airflow is gentle. And gently blow air on top of the beaker. Keep blowing air until you are left with a few drops of a yellow liquid, which is eugenol. Go ahead and weigh the beaker with eugenol. At the end of the lab, we were able to extract eugenol from steam distillation. The difference between the mass of the beaker with eugenol and empty mass of the beaker will give you the grams of eugenol. And with this, find the percent recovery of eugenol. Thank you.